because less than 3% of you people read books. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion famous, and football players. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We do it in illusions, man. None of it is true. You're beginning to believe the illusions. This is mass madness, you maniac. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. What's up, what's up, and welcome to In and By Television. We are in Epitone 92. We will be talking about at what age did a sow get a phone? My name is Weepy. Troy Everett. And DJ Drumtastic, y'all. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining Yeah, we'd like to thank everybody for coming on tonight. Like Shree said, we got a good show. We're up to episode 92. Oh, how's everybody doing? How was your how was your week? How was you guys' week? Yep. My week was good. I got my teeth done today. And it hurts a little bit, but gotta get it clean so it won't fall out. <laughs> Man, stop lying. You know you got dentures. I got what? <laughs> dentures. Them is dentures. What's that? You got some new, you got some new chicklets. Sitting there, sitting there. You got fake teeth. Oh, real. oh. To be honest with you, I do have a clown. I have a clown. I got a couple clowns. Yeah. They gave you a good cleaning. I got to go get mine. I'm due for it. My week was good. I've been dealing with house stuff. You know, house stuff, water heater stuff. Just different stuff, yard stuff, bug. So I've been in the yard all week. I'm all itchy, scratchy. Mosquitoes didn't bite me, but that's the retired life. You dig? Yeah. Well, mine, mine's been kind of, kind of slow motion. I had the grandkids during the day this week, uh, but yeah, I've had some problems too with my water heater. What's the, what's going on, man? The water heater keeps going on, out, man. His water heater went out. Mine, my daughter's. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Yours went out too, Sharif. Mine went out um, a couple of years ago. Well, a year ago, a couple of years ago. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's terrible. Don't yeah, mind now. And now in this economy, you know, you save for a you have an emergency fund. Shit, your emergency funds groceries. <laughs> yeah, the emergency funds damn near wiped out, man. So yeah, you gotta. It's like crazy. Punkin, like Punkin used to always say, we need to go on a rainwater diet because we can't afford the food. We just <laughs> get rainwater in a bucket and cook it, put chicken broth in it. <laughs> Shoot. In some, in some states, that's illegal. What? To collect rainwater? Yep, to collect rainwater. Some states, that's illegal. How can you, how can you make collecting rainwater illegal? Man, that's crazy. Uh, speaking on that and the different things in the economy, uh, we got those uh, wildfires in Canada is wrecking havoc here in the United States. Not sure if you've seen that, uh, but I got. Uh, let me show the images. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's really it's really bad. But you know, our Fourth of July is coming up soon, so the fire will be caused fire. You know, because I remember a few years ago, it was it was um, hot like that, too. But this one might be hotter than last time. And we had a yeah. fire, too, up north, too. And oh, had yeah. a fire out. Yeah, so... so My mic is off. I mean, my, my, my camera's off. I see y'all. Because mm -hmm. I'm eating dinner. I had to take a bite of my dinner real quick. But we got Deanna Friend on. Deanna, thank you for joining. Hey, Deanna. Thank you, Deanna. Yes, we love pumpkin. I talk about pumpkin every right. single day. Forget it. Hold on. Let me come back. Hold on. Yeah. Hello, Deanna. It's my show. I can Thank eat dinner. Deanna, I pumpkin. talk about pumpkin every single day. There and a day go by that I don't talk about it or think about it. 
Yeah. And, and then um, we got we got London, London Brown, our numero uno. She made it on. Thank you, London. Thank you. We were just talking about the wildfires. I just want to show you some of this image, show some of this uh, imagery on CNN. Let me see if I can bring it up real quick. Uh, the before and after. Uh, it's pretty bad. Okay, so this is. Uh, a view from the Hudson River. This is before. This is after. Wow. Yeah, this was early. This was earlier this week. This was on Wednesday of this week. Wow. Look at this one. Earlier this week, uh, New York City skyline. This was Wednesday. Here's Times Square, New York. Earlier this week. This was Wednesday. This is from the Earth Cam. I'm on uh, CNN.com. But yeah, this is wow. in Baltimore. Inner Harbor in Baltimore. 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 And this is Washington, D.C. So those fires are wreaking havoc throughout the United States, man. It's... Um, wow. Wow. Could you imagine if that was weed smoke? <laughs> that ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was weed smoke? Everybody, be, it wouldn't be no shootings. It wouldn't be nothing going on because everybody just be so like, hi, how you doing today? Yeah. Hey, would you like to go get a burger? <laughs> on, let's go get a burger. I'm hungry. <laughs> Sharice, you love that. <laughs> Thanks for joining in, Sharif. Hey, Sharif, we talking about the smoke. So you in Maryland, what's it looking like out there for you with the smoke? Yeah, that we just saw uh, the bay over there in Baltimore. That was one of the pictures. It looks pretty bad. Yeah, she don't live far from Baltimore. She's in Hagerstown. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they um they um canceled the flight. Yeah, they canceled a few fights. There he goes. Our buddy Art, thanks for joining. He said Dorito stock with Doug. Uh, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks, Art. Thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, we're talking about the, the fires. Out Where you there been, Canada. Art? Where you been? You been on the road? It's a Dorito stocks. Little Debbies would be leaving off the shelf left and right. No more Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> None. It would be, yeah, so, would be no snacks. So, so what's your what's your favorite what's your fa favorite high snack? It's really hazy out here. Oh, Cherie said it, it's really hazy out here. It looks weird. Wow, that's in Baltimore. So Troy, you said what's your favorite high snack? Yeah, well, what's your favorite back in the day? What's your favorite high snack? Anything. Some just something I can get in my stomach. <laughs> Some cookies, some some pizza, whatever. I said he's way too. Mine is Chinese all you can eat. <laughs> Chinese all you can eat. Yeah, after you smoke. Oh. Only true smokers know what that's about. No right, Sharif. Hey. Have y'all ever got kicked out of a buffet for eating up all the crab legs? That's me. That's me. <laughs> That's me. You get out. You don't come back anymore. And then when we came back, <laughs> no more crab legs. Sharif shut down the whole crab leg uh, buffet. It had everything but crab legs after that. Right. Right. The right. Art said he's going to take some time off uh, joining his fam on uh, Thursday night. Oh, man, we appreciate it, man. Well, right. we, we, we really appreciate you coming on. We missed uh, you, Art. We we've been laughing, but we, you know, we used to your antics. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, Sharif got us kicked out of that all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet trying to eat up all the crab legs. All the crab legs. What? No, ain't no try. 
he would come back with two plates and he would stack them up high too. He would balance them back to the table. You pay for it. You pay for it. All right, you can eat and pay for it. <laughs> they didn't think that. Okay, you well, I'm gonna you gotta them. go. I'm gonna say, like, um, um, this is what they was doing. <laughs> They stopped putting yeah. the crab legs out. Uh, he had the audacity to ask him where the crab legs were, but he, he had the audacity to go back and say, hey, where are the crab legs? They stopped bringing the crab legs out. <laughs> then, they, then they said we had to go. I was like, man, let me finish my cat first. Let me just finish my cat first, and we'll be on our barbecue oh, cat. We'll be on our way. That was hilarious, man. i never forget that. Or we used to just get in there and laugh, but we couldn't even eat because we'd laugh for about a whole hour straight. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Ain't nothing even funny. We just laugh. <laughs> we just laugh. And we used to go. I used to be like, don't start Troy. Troy. Don't, don't start Troy. And we then sit we down in the booth. <laughs> we <laughs> sit down in the booth. The guy bring bring us up, bring us out our plates. <laughs> we'll just start laughing. I don't know why I started laughing. <laughs> man, man, man. But yes, it looks terrible out there. I hope it don't get down here in the Atlanta area. We like because <laughs> I like to be outside. And this is, like Sharif said, this is the worst time to have something like this happen, especially for those who have asthma or asthmatic, because right. it is pollen season, too, you know. So on top of that smoke, they're telling people in New York to stay inside. Yep. Yep. I saw yep. that. That's the best way, because you get asthma and um, acne attacks and stuff. So, yeah. So, allergy. so allergy. Just, it, it's the season for allergies. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah, so all all our our fam up there in New York, I uh, hope you stay safe. I know Broncos up there, uh, in uh, Long Island, Staten Island, one of the two, one of them damn islands. Manhattan too. They it, it was really bad. Oh, uh, yeah, that's from that smoke. So Shree says she has a supreme uh, supreme migraine, guys. At the call of the night, I apologize. No need to apologize. We thank you for at least. Blessing us with your presence. Exactly. Exactly. My man, Dell. What's going on, Dell? Oh, all right. Oh, Miss Shelly laughed today. Okay. 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 Yeah, she's up there in Jacksonville. Oh, up, in, up there in Jacksonville with you. Yeah, that's that's my aunt. My aunt Shelly. And Dell's my <coughs> distant cousin. I appreciate you coming on. We got to get Dell come on and talk about some history, man. That, yeah, he's a walking history machine. Do you see all those fires started at exactly the same time? Right? Yeah, what was that all about? Yeah, yeah that was weird. They showed the satellite imagery of the just... It's like, that, wow. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. You're right, I, Art. So I, what's I, your theory? Go ahead. I said, are the say, fires out? No, oh, it's still burning. Yes, wow. at the exact same time. He said she was very happy to see you. I'm, I'm glad that you guys got a chance to hook up. Well, I'm going to make it up there to Jacksonville soon uh, to see it. We'll, we'll uh, orchestrate something so we can uh, <laughs> all get together. <coughs> Excuse me. You got smoke out there? No. <laughs> Not that kind. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so before we get into the topic while we just shucking and jiving right now, let's not forget. Come on, y'all. I mean, every time I'm walking around, people looking and asking me questions like, what's that? Oh, I like that logo. That's nice. Come on, let's get with the program. The Black List. If you got any problems, hold on. Now, for the T-shirts, and goodies, and other merchandise, go to www.troyever.net and click shop. Come on! Yeah, we're gonna again. We're gonna update. Um, we'll be updating uh, the merchandise also coming in July. We'll be launching the website. Our uh, website will have a lot more stuff on it. Uh, older, uh, older um, episodes. It's just gonna have a lot of stuff on there. We're gonna do a. Yep. We're gonna do a blog. We're going to start to really invest in uh, more content creation. Go ahead, Sharif. 
Yep, I would um I'm gonna let everyone know that um when um when it comes down to um if you wanna find out about the blacklist, um you can um watch the show from last week, which is um episode ninety one. Blacklist review. And then we talk about the blacklist. Yeah. The Blacklist Review. Go check it out. It's a lot of interesting businesses. Uh, some people came on and told out about their businesses, and we're going to definitely... There we go. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I said it. Right. right. <laughs> Why am I saying this? And we are going to do more of the Blacklist Review show. I'm not saying yes. that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Now, all the time, like Troy said, you just don't want, we just not on here for y'all to watch and listen to us idiots talk. You want to come on and join the conversation, which today is about at what age should a child get a cell phone? I just put up the link, the green room link. Come in, make sure. Tell them what, what they got to do when they come in the green room, uh, Sharif. Make sure you have your light on properly and your volume properly so I can read your lips too. There you go. And the yep. link is up. There's, yeah, that's like so again. Yeah, come on in. Make sure you uh, share, uh, like. Uh, even if you don't watch the whole show, man, share it to your friends, family. Maybe they come on. Uh, I'm gonna get back to a part we were talking about the wildfires in Canada, and uh, he, we, they all started at the same time, and we thought it was a coincidence. We asked him what was, you know, what, uh, what do you think it was? And he said it was uh, either a controlled burn, uh, controlled burn schedule that got out of control, or who knows. Well, one of the things is that. Um, it's been extremely dry in that right. region in Quebec. I believe it is Quebec. Uh, it's been extremely dry. Like they didn't have a lot of snow this year. Um, and, and the areas that are caught that have caught fire are usually like swamp lands and they're completely dried out. Um, so does that have something to do with uh, global, you know, the global warming of the planet? Yeah. Who knows? I saw Could that. Be. Hey, Sheena. Sheena's made it on. Good to see you, Sheena. Thank you for joining us. What's going on? Sheena? Uh, Art says if he becomes part of the black list, it would be gray. The gray list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know you know somebody or a family member, a friend, or somebody who could put their business in the black list to help promote the blackness blowing up and I'm making sure it is because I'm I'm just putting everything in there business wise. Mrs. Jones, thank you for joining in. Hey Mrs. Jones. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for coming on. We're talking about at what age should a child get a cell phone? Well since we got you know a couple people on here, let's ask this question. Um Cornell West running for the president for all those who don't know Cornell West uh, is a philosopher, a Christian and Christian philosophy and philosophy philosopher. Uh, used to teach at Princeton and Yale. One of my favorite artists, an intelligent man. I have the utmost respect for. Uh, but yeah, he's thrown his hat in. He's not running as a Democrat or a Republican. It's the people's people's first, I believe, it's called uh, uh, the People's Party. People's Party, okay. It's called the People's Party. Uh, so he's trying to, they're trying to organize another uh, party. And there's several out there, you know, you got the People's Party, you got the Independent Party, you've got the Forward the forward Party. There's a lot of parties out there. I think that's a great idea because the two-party system definitely, damn, I said it. <laughs> but, but wait, what's good is you caught yourself, so now you're paying attention that you're saying. Yeah, so the, the two party system does not, does not, it's not working, y'all. Come on, let's just let's just be in agreement. It's not. It's like voting for the, you know, the two of the worser evils. I'm not saying that Democrats are good, and I'm not saying that Republicans are bad, or vice versa. Uh, let's see. We got Art on here. He says, my kids got their first phones at 15 each. We're going to get to that in just a second. Art, 15 years old? That's probably a good age. 15? That's a real Four good age. Campaign. Man. That's exactly what it is. That's what exactly what it is. The Poor People's Campaign. Wow. Yes. And the reason it's, that it's the Poor People Campaign is because 
<coughs> the People's Party is a progressive political organization aimed at forming a major political party free, now listen to this, free of corporate money or influence. Mm. So yeah, they're going to be broke. Broke. Unless the people come together and uh, what do you think about it? If you think about it, if if we can spend two trillion dollars a year, just as uh, uh, in the African American community on sneakers and right, exactly subwoofers, gold chains, weaves, and fake eyelashes, we could contribute to that party. They they long to. We ought to do an eyelash. <laughs> Mark says the lesser of two evils for sure. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I have a lot of respect for Cornell West. Like I said, he's my favorite author. I've been, I've read many of his books. Um, I, he's a very intelligent man. He's a very compassionate man, not just for black people. Or he's a compassionate man. He's he's for the epitome all. of what a a Christian should be. Uh, if you guys have done any research into Cornell West. Or I've watched him talk. He he's an amazing guy. He really is. Um, but I don't think he would get the backing. Um, could he win? Who knows? He doesn't have the backing of corporate America because he says that's what's happening. And I, you know, some I thought about this in the game Monopoly. If you want to learn about what um, our country is all about, in the name of in the game of Monopoly, right? You got as many people you pick whoever you are. Uh, your little thumb thimble or whatever. Uh-huh. Who who wins at the end? How many the people bank, win? The bank wins. Shoot. No, there's uh, how many people win at the game of Monopoly? If you're playing with five people, what's what is the ultimate goal of Monopoly? To own property, I guess, and so people land on to it. And you gotta charge them. Yeah, the, the goal is to win. Right. But there's only one winner. Money. Right, so you own everything. Dang, that's what's happened. If you want to learn what uh, how um, our country is being run, Monopoly is a good place to start. <coughs> uh, what'd you say? That will never get off the ground. Americans have been uh, conducting uh, conditioned to believe what's on the idiot box. The two party system is what America actually thinks it's the way and has always been. Yeah, exactly. Two exactly. The person with the most money. Yep, one person. Yep, that's it. That's monopoly. Uh, I win all the time. Uh, we gotta have a we gotta have a monopoly night. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, all right, Del, Thanks right. for coming on, brother. Coming on, man. I got my first iPhone at age eleven. Hey, hey John Mitchell, thanks for coming on, man. Join in. Appreciate you joining in. What did Art say? You know, Monopoly is actually Atlantic City. <laughs> Who would want to own that piece of shit? <laughs> Art is crazy. All right, we miss you, man. We miss all these laughs. <laughs> we miss all yeah. these laughs. That was London that said she got her phone at what age? Oh, at 11. 11. Spoiled brat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's a good kid. He's a great kid. He's a good kid. Yeah, so we got that going on. Uh guys hear about that shooting down here in Oak in Florida. And, and let's let's since we're on the political vibe, you know, Ron DeSantis is the damn governor right here. In, in Florida, and you pass a law that you can conceal carry without a permit, right? Right. So it's the wild, wild west down here. Uh, I think it was oh, a couple of weeks ago, a young lady in Ocala, Florida, uh, this lady uh, was getting in an argument with these 12 year old kids through skates or whatever because they're playing in the back of her lawn or something like that. Don't know the gist of it. You have to go look. But the mother went to confront the lady, knocked on her door, and she shot her through the door. And it took four days for them to arrest her. 
they say they have to go through the protocols. But I'm just going to say this right now. If she was black, she would have went to jail on the spot. Then they would have what sent her back home or whatever. But yeah. that took too long. I'm glad they finally did arrest her. But um, the lady is charged with like hitting kids. She's been harassing them for for a long time. So this is like ongoing. So I'm thinking, was the police ever called? It's a lot that like, do you go back and forth with your neighbor this long before something escalates to this? Yeah, well, they had interviewed a lot of the people in the neighborhood. Most of them are Caucasian and they all had problems with her. It wasn't just the black people. It was everybody had problems with this lady. So good and bad people. John says, Keep the phones away from children. Let them play outside. John, you are absolutely correct. Yes. That's you why these kids are correct. That's why these guys, yeah, that was on my mind, but I didn't see it. That's why these kids are getting bullied at school because they look like they look like fat Albert's twin. They sit at home <laughs> on their phones and don't move. <laughs> you get outside and play, get off the phone. You wouldn't get bullied at school, little fat fucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm on one tonight. <laughs> I said I couldn't agree more. Gen X is the best, and we were outside from sun up to sundown. We drank off the water holes. The boys went to use the bathroom in the back. The girls went in the house to use the bathroom. We ate dirt. We ate the berries off the trees. What else? We would get cut and bleed. We didn't go in the house for a band-aid. We just put something on it, put a leaf on it, and we kept it moving. We was the tough yeah. one. Mm. Yeah, Gen X is definitely tough. You bust your nag and go outside, you go in the house crying. Are you dead? No. <laughs> Take your ass back outside then. Hey, look. I yeah. remember we was playing right. around throwing stuff at each other. I fell on a piece of glass. My mama was asleep. I went in there and showed her. She said, boy, go back outside. She was asleep. I came back in about an hour or so later. She was like, you need stitches. <laughs> so, yeah. John we says, we came, we came inside when the street lights came on. Hey, my daddy used to be like, when the street lights come on, hit it. That's what <laughs> All right, hey, now, I resemble that remark. You didn't get teased in school. Oh, wow. She said, not all girls. No, no, no. She, yeah, she took a pee outside. You like, get it. I'm not going inside. I'm just going to squat. She said, not all. You know what? I would expect that she would say something like that. Where's the Mr. at? Because I know he would have something funny to say. But how you doing, you guys? Don't forget justice <laughs> for Jalen. For Jalen. Can't forget about that. Let me type that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we again we thank you guys for coming on. We're getting ready to uh, transition into um transition to the topic for the day. Uh while drummer types that stuff in. So let's go ahead and uh get it moving. At what age should a child get a cell phone? That's the topic for the day. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, uh, everybody for their comments. Uh, the green room link is on there if you guys want to come on and talk about how awesome Gen X was. John, uh, uh, John is ex John is definitely a Gen Xer, by the way. He's talking. Uh, <laughs> I you're, asked, trying, I, you're trying not to say it, but you said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop laughing. Art, and stop it. Art said he, uh, not in high school. He didn't get bullied in high school. I was a fat kid with the name Art in elementary school. Had to get tough quick. <laughs> I got your back uh, to packing. I'll tap in later. Much love. Okay, get back to packing, John. We appreciate you coming in. Thank well, you. See you next week. We're here every week, eight o'clock Thursday. So come back on and talk about this. These uh these brats with these phones. Wait, let's so, okay. Eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Five o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard. Time. <coughs> okay, go to it. Right. So let's talk about these brats and their phones. 
you know, phone, man. You know, our phone was supposed to be full of mushy, you know. And um, now we got the young baby that's four or five, three years old, got her own cell phone. Back then, we didn't have that. You know, we had to play outside, just like what John said, you know, and then go outside and play, you know, and learn other things other than the phone, you know. Right. But I can, I can see that there are some people that um, can't control their kids and they, um, from crying and stuff, and they use the um, phone to help them stop crying. Right, yeah. So that's what I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to having these to, for cell phones. Um, uh, I think uh, one of the big things is that, you know, back in the day we had television. So our parents, you know, we, we were raised by television if we weren't outside playing. Right. right. It was either outside majority of the time is it was outside but we had the television and there's certain things that that are not health wise that are not good when it comes to cell phones at a, at a young age exactly. you know health uh excessive screen time uh and prolonged use of cell phones can lead to various health issues such as eye strain sleep disturbances because the blue light that comes off the the screens the blue light it messes with your timing. So the same light that comes off the screen is kind of like the same light that you see during sunlight during the day. So it kind of throws off your your sleeping patterns. Uh, and it could uh, also um, create sedentary behavior. It is important to establish guidelines and limits for screen time and manage it so the kids don't be at risk. That's one of the cons. Right. You know. You know that. Um. You know they don't um they don't sell a lot of band aids. Everybody used to have band aids from falling and everything. You know, so mm -hmm. that phone you can you can't be rough with the phone. So you got to be real careful with the phone. You know, so Dell makes a great point here. In today's age, it's good for children to have cell phones to keep in close connection with them. Yes, that is a pro. The con is. Who's contacting contacting them other than you? That's something you gotta kind of be worried about. You know, all these predators. I think it's such a deeper than no. the phone. I think it has to do more with Gen X, uh, Gen X who are the ones giving these kids all these phones. We didn't have all these all this tech when we were when we were young, and so we badly want our kids to have more than what we did. So we freaking well that. We give them freaking everything, making them spoiled brats. Yes, agreed. Right. Agreed. 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 I, I agree. Yeah. So, so, so it's Gen Xers' faults. We, we, we just, just think about it, man. We, we grew up in the '60s. Well, the set late '60s, '70s, and the '80s, right? Is that Gen Xers? Yeah. Yeah. And we were, we were latchkey kids. We come in, huh? we come in, you know, after school, nobody's there. We take our books off. We come in with the key. We go outside and play. Our parents were home. They, they were working. Nobody was there to watch us. Man, I, don't, I don't know how many times I should have been dead <laughs> doing stupid shit. I that. You know, Man, I'd have, I'd have had stitches over 12 times on my body, in my head five times. So, yeah. you know, being outside playing, being rough. Now, the, the the excuse me, but the boys and the young men are softer than Dr. Scott. Sorry. <laughs> now, some, you know, I usually research a lot of stuff on shows, but this shows I didn't research. I'm going by personal experience, and I'm going to say this. I got a seven-year-old granddaughter. And I had her about a, about a week or so ago. And, um, you know, she has her phone. She don't really be on it. But lately she has. And she had that phone. And she was staying up late. I was asleep. I figured out just through paying attention and listening that she was up at 2 o'clock in the morning on the phone. So after two days of that, I let her do that. During the day, she liked to go outside a little bit. But she'll be on the phone. So then what happened was I took the phone the next night and she cried and cried and got mad. And while I was telling her to put on her jammies, the, she got a text tone. She stopped 
what she was doing because she wanted to check that text tone. And she was like, I want to see who's texting me. And I was so, I was just baffled. I was like, like a guy said in court, Your Honor, I was flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. I was sitting there like, yeah. said, No, you're not getting this phone. She kept asking and asking and asking to get that phone. Oh. Yeah, that's another one of the cons is dist- uh, it could cause distraction and impaired focus. Exactly. Uh, you know, cell phones can be highly distractive, diverting a child's attention away from schoolwork, chores, and other important activities. It's important to set boundaries and teach the children to manage their time effectively. Bing! Wait a minute. <laughs> now, what else, though, is the fact that they're not getting proper sleep because they're up on the phone. No, no. Um, when, when um when my daughter was going up, when my daughter was going up, I had a um, um I had to tell her that I'm um, not ready for the phone right now. But she had a birthday, birthday, and then uh, they was giving her money for her birthday. So she had the money. She asked me to take her to uh, Walgreens. So I said, "Sir, I'll take you to Walgreens." I'm over here thinking that she's gonna get some um snack or some drinks or something like that, tips or whatever, you know. But she ran and got the phone, the free phone. We pay phone. Got the phone right. And said, yep. So now I can buy my own phone with my own, own money. I got $38. So wow. I was like, well, you can do what you want to do. You're going to learn from it. So she went, went and got it, right? By the time that we got in the car, she touched uh, her number up. And by the time I got home, no more money. So <laughs> that's, right. why, that's why you're not ready for a phone. Yeah. So Shea says that uh, my boys didn't have phones until high school, but only because they were uh, in extracurricular activities, but we limited use- usage. Hell, my kids didn't get a PlayStation until Jalen was in high school. It wow. lasted two weeks before we sold it. <laughs> I'm here, y'all. My Art, camera. Art says it's not just phones. It's uh, all tech. Yeah, it is because they got... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. They got the tablets and all that. They got everything out there. Even though my kids don't get phones until 15, uh, the moment they did, their friend group was already so uh, ingrained with the tech that they felt they fell right into it. Right. Right. So another thing, yeah. I, another thing I see is in restaurants now, they give the kids the phone so they don't. You know, there's no more conversation within the families. Here's the phone or the tablet, and they're eating and touching the tablet. It's just, it's outrageous. But when you can say, "Here, take the phone, go in the room," you're getting on my nerves. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, my my grandchildren, they sometimes they'll have the phone and they're watching, you know, YouTube Kids or whatever, whatever. But I, I don't know. It's different personalities. Like, right, the youngest, my grandson, he'll sit there and look at the phone and be good. My granddaughter, she just doesn't have the attention span to stay there she'll look at it if she's tired um but yeah and then some of the stuff that they learn on there is like where did she learn that she came in with a brand new dress on the other day and she goes hey babu ta-da I'm like ta-da where did she learn that <laughs> <laughs> on youtube and youtube all right you need yeah. to come on because you type in whole books but you know <laughs> But you can block, you can block some of the channels and so and stuff, you know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's up to the pair, you know. Yeah, you have to do that. Limit the yeah. time. Yes. Like seven Limit o'clock after six or seven o'clock, no more phone. And then you gotta also watch out for you know younger kids like, like uh, that are in you know, infants. They see all these kids playing with all these different toys. They think that's normal. Like, they got it made up where they got. 500 balls in a pool you know this is crazy toys so they they think they're supposed to have all that stuff too the amount of friends that these kids have these days online that they're never that they never meet is astonishing to me yes it is literally an electronic pen pal that you don't have to wait for that you have to you don't have to wait for a response yeah art it's like how do you even how do you even know this person you really, you really don't know a person until you, you know, you hang out with them face to face. Well, then again, you got FaceTime, so I don't know, man. It's it's just weird. It's yep. weird. Yep, you know, but you know, it's just that um, it's a couple of websites that I really didn't agree with with kids was um Snapchat. 
Snapchat is one of the hiding websites. You can you can do stuff and hide in the, in the auto automatic eBay. And the pair like the harder for the pair. It's harder for the parents to really see what they're doing. I didn't even know Snapchat was still around because I haven't heard people talking about it. <laughs> yeah, it's still the around. Client, so. The client. The client one. Yeah. The Shay says, I'm so glad I don't have young grandkids. They'd hate me because no, absolutely not. We're going to get on each other's nerves. In other words, they're not going to be on the phone. Lachey, my granddaughter says she's going to tell her mama, her grandma, her, her other grandma, her auntie. She was so mad at me about that phone because I'm no, no, no to a lot of stuff. But I was trying to be lenient. But 2 o'clock in the morning, and guess no. what? She was sleeping until 3 in the afternoon and would wake up talking about, I want to go to the park. And I'm like, I'm about to take a nap. <laughs> Listen to this con. I mean, Art bought the we were just talking about. Listen to this con. It's social and emotional development, right? That's a con. Uh, excessive reliance on cell phones for social interaction can hinder face-to-face -face communication and interpret interpersonal skills. It is uh, critical for children to engage in real-world interactions and develop emotional intelligence. That's that's why we that's why everybody's so damn. Yep. There's no common sense no more. Nope. Because they're learning everything on the fly off the internet. They're not learning it how we learned it by experience. Well, not, not only that, but when you're when you're with somebody, you, there's emotional keys or or, or or ticks or different things. People, when you're when you're talking to somebody, you can get a feel for who you know who they are, the, the, the way that they move their hands, or how they different gestures. You, can, if you're with somebody, you can see when they're uncomfortable. You yeah. can't see that kind of thing that's, that's through the phone. phone. Yeah, social, yeah. social. That's what it might, might live is better than social on the phone. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's more real. It's more real when you um face to face. But, you know, the um the people that um you know like when they're fifteen years old and get ready to turn fifteen and start, started driving, I can understand having a phone. You know, so that way um. Uh, the parents know where they're at, or if something happened, they can call the parents and you know, um for whatever problem they had, you know. Right. So, so I mean, it's good and bad, you know. But yeah. for the young ones, um, I think the young ones should um maybe play for well, it all depends on the parents, you no. Know, but yeah. maybe play on the phone for maybe a couple of hours. That's it, a day, a day, because if you um like you said about the um your eyes started. Uh, looking feel different and stuff, or you um um they also um like you say you want to learn any you learn things negative on the phone and like um your granddaughter did and that was right. something different you know and not negative but you know it's just something that she did that was off the online you know yeah. Troy Art said Art says I have uh I had I had to have a talk with my twenty year old about. Uh, pri prioritizing big rocks first, which she had no concept of, because otherwise she sits on her computer with her friends all day. It's insane. Sheena says, yes, sis, so true. Those phones are a mess these days. Uh, uh, then they can stay at home. I'm not arguing with a child or the parents about rules in my house. Boom. My, gran my granny didn't. What she said was final, like it or not. Or not. And you better not say nothing or you get yeah. fired. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they in my house. They in my house. They're gonna behave, they're gonna behave according to uh what the rules are over here. Okay, Troy, let me ask you. So you have grandchildren every day, just about. And this is something that some people who maybe on here who have kids can learn. What do you do to entertain them without giving them <laughs> Or then watch a TV all day. I play Barbies. Why'd you pause? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I play Barbies no. with my with my granddaughter. You do the hair and everything? Oh, I don't do the hair. She does the hair. But yeah, <laughs> I, what I do is I try to stimulate their their sense of imagination. Right? They're so imaginative at that age. You know, if if we are the TV will be on. If she's if she's watching, uh, let's say we're watching, I don't know, Frozen, and the song part comes on, the song part comes on. 
she's singing, she's dancing the song, and we go over the song, and then we'll ask questions about it, and then, you know, she'll lose interest, and then she'll pick up a, you know, her, her, her little dolls, and we'll, we'll play dolls, or, you know, I, we wrestle, we throw her against the, against the mattress on the wall, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or she's chasing the dog around, you know, she's very active, they're both very active. Um, we've got so here's here's a quick story. Um, we have a uh, a record player that has a Bluetooth in the living room, and what my wife will do is she'll put on monster sounds, right? Put on monster sounds so they like the monsters come out of nowhere, and she'll run in the room. Oh, what's that? What's that? And then she'll grab my wife's cane and start shooting the monsters. Right? We're playing zombies. So <clears throat> there's so much more that you do with kids other than sitting in front of those damn phones, man. Right, you're not giving them their own imagination. They're looking at stuff, repeating what they see. It's not, you know, their brains are like a sponge. You got to feed that so they can be original, right? Not yeah. like the millennials, right? I always get on the millennials. <laughs> they don't. They get mad too when we get on. Yeah, them punk ass millennials. <laughs> the men out here softer than doctors cotton. <laughs> okay, let's get back to these comments. Uh, my twenty-year-old too. Oh yeah, whatever goes, whatever you say at uh, Lachey's house goes. Twenty-year-old. Yeah. Art says, "Go grab a sandwich." You uh, go grab, grab the sandwich. Switch. Go grab the switch. Go grab the switch. You want uh, <laughs> is what you got. My kids do yard work. And garden stuff with me. That's awesome, man. Uh, not hey, go, which is good. Which is good, Art. Uh, right. I'm, lucky, I'm I'm lucky though. They still like to play board games with their mom. And I thought, uh, and although guys, uh, bear with me, man. I gotta get some new glasses. Although it doesn't happen as often as it used to, I'm sad now. Oh, my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my granddaughter. We do anything she wants as long as it's not electronic. Okay, I got something, especially for Art. Art, you yeah. sad? I got something for you. I, I feel you, brother. Here. <laughs> yeah. All right, Art, we got it out. Yeah, the millennials will call me a boomer, but they they don't understand, you know, Gen X. Like we've been saying, man, we we raised ourselves. I mean, we did. Right? Not all of us, but you know, in that day and age, both parents had to work, man. Or the father was working and our mom was at home. But when we were left at home, we knew what to do and what not to do. And we did. Right. That one phone and that was that house phone. Mm -hmm. Better not use it unless it's an emergency. Yep. yep. My dad gave the speech before he left home every time. Don't open doors. Mm -hmm. Don't don't go outside. <laughs> and we had BB guns. guns. We had BB guns. We had matches and gasoline in, 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 in the carport. We had... we. Yep. We, we could we could have started World War Three. That stuff on fire, <laughs> all kind of stuff. You know, but you know what? Um, if they had what we had back in the day, with the you know um, people that um, had a call, people they had their old phone with they one at a time. You have to know the phone number, you know. And and nowadays, most people don't even know the phone number. Do they go by the picture of the face? Or whatever, and then that's when they put the phone number. Okay, so how many numbers do y'all know? I know my main closest loved one's number. My wife, my mm -hmm. daughters, my sisters, my mama, and my father. That's it. I know them by heart, so I could dial yeah. them. What about you, Sharif? Who's I, know, I, know, I still know my own parents' own number by you heart. Know your wife, you know your wife's number by heart? Yep, I know my wife's number by heart. Sure, you know your wife's number by heart? Yep. Yeah. I made it easy. Her number is the exact same number as mine, except for the last number. <laughs> that's a good one. Now that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. So yeah, that's important because a lot of these the younger kids don't know. They don't know. They can't get to the mall without the GPS. Or well, not only that. Not only that. Um, say if you go to um Walgreens and you want to get a little discount for points and stuff. No. 
You got to know the number before you um get them fired. Well, you got to know your own number. Yeah. I mean, you better know your I own number. don't know their own number. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't. Yeah, man. That's what I said. They, 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 got, they got the GPS. They can't get around. Uh, and, don't know the streets. Without, yeah, don't know the streets. Don't know where they want, where they're, where they're from. They don't I, know east, northeast, south, or west. They, they you couldn't. Oh, there he is. I told her my is she might have to leave her phone home. Oh, Art. Art. What's happening, Art? Hey, go on, Art. What's up, fellas? What's up, fellas? It's really nice. See, you went nice out face? there. You went put on What's your that? nice button down before you came oh, on, huh? Man, too. <laughs> uh oh. You pausing a little bit. He's up there in the mountains yeah. in Tennessee somewhere. Right. Let me see if I can do this real quick. How about y'all got me? Yeah, we got yeah, we you. We got you. All right. Yeah, we got you. Well, awesome. I just wanted to come on and say hi to you guys. We appreciate it, man. See, art is brave. We need more people to come on. Uh whether you have glitches or not. I don't care. We want to see your face. We want to hear your voice, man. That's Thanks right. for coming out, Art. Where you at? Uh, I'm actually in the backyard. I just wanted to uh, show you guys. Show, I just wanted yeah, to come on and say the, I missed you. Show us the garden. You can't turn your – you can't show, turn your uh, – uh, can't turn your camera around on this. Nope. Oh, no. You, you use the not. other thing. Nope, you can on this. You would you have let, to – Let's we'll see the garden. Oh, man. Whoa, oh, yeah. Art, yeah, man, man, we need to do it. When are we doing this show? We need to do this garden show soon so Art can come right. on. Because I got to yeah. get the garden started. Right. There's the corn. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, what else you got out there, Art? Uh, sugar snap peas, green beans, top row zucchini, asparagus oh. is all the way over to the right. Uh, middle row is peppers, bottom row is tomatoes, and then those are potato boxes. Wow. Wow. A lot of love right yeah. there. Yeah, it is, man. We, we definitely – oh, shit. I said it again. <laughs> De definitely is a word that I try not to say. Got to remove it right? from my vocabulary. We want, we, want you to, we want to get you on, Art. So uh, email us a schedule so we can set up a, a show that you can – you know, help other people with gardening tips. Is that all right? Sure. Abs yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'll, I'll, I've got an extra box I can set up out here on the back patio. So I've got proper Wi-Fi too. So, man. Okay, great. We're going to do yeah, that. Let, sit, again, email us a, a schedule or tell you got our, you got all our information. Yeah. Just what would be a good time. We'll set up the graphic and get people on. Cause that's, that's important, man. The way things are going, it's going to be very important to grow your own food. Right. Oh, yeah, I can't stress that enough, man. I cannot house, stress that enough. The house I moved in a year ago has an acre of land, and I got land. I'm ready. Me and my wife have been buying stuff slowly, but we just need a little knowledge to know how to do it and keep it right. Google is your best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Definitely. There we go. Not Google is your best friend. Say the word again. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you have green thumb art on your on your call list on exactly. your roll index. Yep, yep, that's right. All right, on. What's the All right, guys. I'm I'm gonna leave the room now. I just wanted to say right. hi. Missed you the last month. Been way too busy. You guys are awesome. Love your show. Uh, love getting on there, and, and you guys are giving me the ability to have a platform just to express my opinion. So, man, we Peace. love you too, man. Love you, man. See you, Reef. Hey, Reef, go make some knuckles, will you? <laughs> knuckles. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I made some. Um, I made some last week. I know. I know. I screwed up and didn't get you guys any uh, uh, salsa from last year's garden. So this year, that front row has twenty Roma tomato plants, oh. and then peppers behind it. Oh, so oh. those are all getting canned and made into salsa. So you give me some yeah. knuckles, I'll get you some salsa. We'll make it a deal. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds like a deal. All, all right. 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 <laughs> That'll be a good one. Tell your pops I said hi, Reef. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Peace. All right. Yep. All right. I love you, man. Peace I love you. Right. Um, All right. The main man. Okay, we got some stuff you got to read, Troy. Right? Okay. Uh, I only know uh, my good sister's because it's her first cell phone number. Uh, the, uh, it's never changed in 25 years. So you had a long time to remember it. 
Shout out. <clears throat> Greg just changed his, so I haven't mentioned it yet. I, I haven't mentioned it yet before y'all get out here. Okay, so you, you better get Greg, it. <laughs> you better get it, get that number right. There you go. Greg just came on to you. All right, Greg. Glad to see you on. Uh, he says, Shay, you know you're telling the truth. That's what Sheena said. Here's a topic for upcoming show. Let's talk about these kids not knowing the driving laws. These kids, these kids don't know shit. They don't know how to wipe their own ass. Oh, you, know, you know what happened? They stopped driving. Oh, in high school. Now they just, this is what they do. When they turn 18, they just can take the, te take the test, pass it, wait two months, and get a driver's license. They don't even need no, what? What do we have to have? 20 hours of driving yeah. with our parents. Yeah. They don't need none of that. Yeah. Throw them out in the street. Yeah. They know no depth perception, speed perception, or nothing. Well, hey, Greg, when I, Greg, when I first moved down there in, in the Atlanta area where you're at, one thing that I noticed that I was like, these people are freaking stupid. stupid. They slow down on the merge when they're merging onto the highway. Have you ever seen anything like that? They yeah. slow down on the merge to merge onto the highway. I was like, what are you idiots doing? You know what else uh, they do? They wait for the last minute to get over, and they're trying to cut across the traffic. All and four lanes. Like, yeah. And 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 they don't know what a yell means. <laughs> 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 right. Greg says, uh, "Yes, gardening, please." Uh, about to purchase land in an ox. Hey, oh yes, I'm yes. right with you, Greg. Uh, wow. Uh, go back now. School's done. Congratulations, Greg. Uh, he oh, finished his schooling. I believe it was uh, cybersecurity. Man, uh, kudos to you. Congratulations. Glad that you made it through. Um, there you go, Art. Yeah. Read yeah. that. Yeah, we, we definitely need. <sighs> I said it again. <laughs> we're we're going to have that show. So, Art, make sure you give us a schedule. It will be a good time to have you on uh, to go over some basic gardening. Uh, what will you do to get, get some gardening done? I know it depends on what area you're in or what part of the country you're in, but just basic tips would be great. Um, you said uh, agree. Really go oh, agree. DL driver's training, I guess he meant, needs to be done in high school again. They all need to watch the death on the highway scare me driving proper. That I'm telling you, when I seen that, when they showed us that, I was like, oh, and then they give you the statistics of how many people die in a car. They need that bad. That's a show, Troy. We need to write, let me write that down. Yeah, go ahead. Put that on the board. Put that on the board. She says, Congrat congratulations, brother Greg. Yeah, congratulations. It's a big achievement, man. I mean, I went back to school a couple years ago. I was the oldest dude in the room. But it's never too late to learn something new. Never. We learn something new every day. So kudos to you, Greg. Uh, uh, if you need some help with your resume, man, let me know. We'll, I'll, we'll hook you up with a, a cool graphic resume. Just send right. us the info. Okay, so where are we at? Oh, eight fifty. Man, you're welcome. Man, time is flying. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it does when the show flows. That was a good show, guys. Make sure you you know share the show, like the show, uh, go to our YouTube, subscribe. We got to get those numbers up. Um, we haven't been really doing any promotions lately, uh, no. but we're gonna get back at it in July. Uh, definitely, go Jesus, I got <laughs> definitely bugged now, man. I wanted to quit every day. I'll send you my resume. Okay, we'll hook that up for you, Greg. Um, yeah, I bet. I mean, going through what you guys have gone through, and then to have the guts to do that. I mean, I watch your post, Greg. Uh, Greg's Greg Greg's getting ready to punch some people in the face. Yes, hey. all the time. And Lachey, ready to and knock. So, out. Yeah, I, th I think we need to get a uh, bail fund <laughs> for the Malloy family. <laughs> get you know what? Yeah. Let me say this. What I like is. You guys still have a sense of humor. You guys yes. still are making a way to get through because the, that was tragedy. And like, and you don't know really what all happened or what he went through. You guys are strong. Let's give it. Let's give him a hand, y'all, for real. If you don't know the story, we don't got time to tell the story now. Just pray for Mr. and Mrs. Malloy for their strength because um, it's some hard times for them. We love you guys, though. Yes. We got you back. 
We got your back, definitely. What'd you say? Definitely. I was, I was, <laughs> I was hoping you didn't hear it. That's why I didn't say nothing. Dang, now I got the bug. Yeah, the definitely bug is going around. We See, it. You need to talk more so you can say definitely. Oh, definitely. Oh, I don't use that word. That's always word. <laughs> Sure, he said it like it was a bad word. Yeah, right. You're welcome, man. You're very welcome, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, we, we do. So um it's about that time. Sharif, why don't you do yeah. your thing? Yeah, I want to say thank you for watching episode 92. I'll tell you next week is 93. Peace out. Peace out. Peace. Any about Teddy Bitson? We're in a lot of trouble because less than 3% of you people read books. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troop of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We do it in illusions, man. None of it is true. You're beginning to believe the illusions. This is mass madness, you maniac. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusions.